Legion Azrael here, like always. Whoa, taking my two least favorite things normally. Um, I hate video game zombies. Like, I like the movie Resident Evil, I guess. And I like The Walking Dead. But I didn't really like Resident Evil games. And in fact, I used to just, I used to say I hate zombie stuff. I think I just hate the zombie culture. Call of, call, COD zombies, Call of Duty zombies, I hated that as much. I mean, I played the first one, but I hate it. Um, but then not, on the other hand, like, it's not so bad. Like, in a movie or TV show. And I hate VR. I, I think it's the most useless thing in video games. For those, not really, it's just, it's really not my thing. So I'm wondering if this is just going to, like, I like The Walking Dead. I haven't watched it since, like, mid-season finale 8. Season 8. And I don't like VR. And I don't like video game zombies. So I'm wondering what this is. I'm wondering if it's, it's going to, like, it's gonna, this is going to be, like, the benchmark for me. Like, as far as interests. Am I going to like it? Am I going to hate it? What the hell is going to go on? Why does my camera always seem like it's great? That's annoying. Uh, but, yeah. So... Uh, can I just fix that? Or is that not a thing? Like, what, what happens if I go, like, way up here? What happens if I go above that? Hit OK. What happens there? Holy crap. Hi. Hi. This is this is the this is the Milk remake. I'm... Uh, okay, let's... Actually, let's just go back. What is this? That's a little too dark. Mm, I think whatever it is, the setting is broken. But anyways... Uh... I'm excited to see, uh, I mean, okay, well, I guess we'll just keep it there. I'm excited to see if this makes it, if this is good, <clears throat> good or not. I'm just, I'm, I'm curious. So with that, let's just get into it, check it out, see what it's all about. Let's hope it's good, I hope. This is like, Daisy with zombies, like, well, <laughs> Daisy with zombies. back covered in blood tell me what happened oh shit oh yeah we got a real walk just because we're the ones breathing don't mean we're living we've just survived so it's from rigged. one fight to the next but what i'm doing ain't about surviving i'm trying to live Katana, exclusive weapon, golden knuckle knife. Wow, that was, I forgot, I, I, I know I said Walking Dead, but I was actually surprised to see Daryl in it. I don't know why, like, I just maybe thought that it wasn't going to be like that. <clears throat> that was actually really, really cool looking. I mean, I think the reason why I don't like VR is just <clears throat> what you see with the hands, but like what you're doing, and then like that being translated into a, into a game, to the VR game always looks weird like holding your guns weird and I've never been a fan of that I mean, if you can get like a if you can have like a, a a toggle button where like it locks wrists so you're not necessarily doing this but you can just move the arm like you know what I mean like instead of like yeah if you could if you could lock wrists it would look less corny because anything you don't have to have a, a movable like you know get guns just in Call of Duty or something, right? You don't need really like the crazy opposable wrists unless you're like trying to get loot, right? And then maybe you just hit like, click and you can do that. But I, I don't know. That's just a quality of life thing for me personally because that's what's really just weirds me. Not weirds me out. It ruins it. It just looks so unimmersive, so not game. You know, just you see wrist doing this or like a Star Trek bridge crew or something like that. 
you know, or, or Surgeon Simulator. It's just not what you want to see in something that's like, you know, a z zombie survival game or something, you know. Uh, yeah, they look, okay, so Rick Rick looks pretty good, you know, digitized there. I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. You know, he's all right. Maybe a little bit bigger right here in the, in the cheeks. He kind of had more of a square jaw and not much. He had less of like what my chin has. He was like, he was more in shape. And then it's like Daryl and, and him swap chins for a second. Or or Rick should have somewhat more of a Daryl chin-ish. Daryl looks pretty good for, uh, I'm liking it. He looks good. He has this weird like poncho-y cape thing. Scarf. Uh... Everything in game looked pretty good. The music, of course, I hope they if they bring back that AMC quality level music, this will be probably a, a huge thing for a lot of people because the music is great on that show. It's just it fits. There's real money, real budget behind that that music, uh, which really helps set the tone um, for a lot of that stuff. Um, yeah, <clears throat> I don't know. I was just I was just kind of like looking at it. Like this looks pretty good. Like the zombies in it. They the the. I mean, even like there's no real wrist weirdness in here either. For normal games, it looks like it's a little bit more arcadey. Um, yeah, I mean, graphically, it doesn't even look really. It almost looks like a Telltale's at first. You know, like very. See, that looked a little weird, but that's probably where I was just like, but that looked good. So I was like, whatever, you know, okay, I, I can I can deal. I mean, I could definitely deal. There's what's her face, Michonne. You get a samurai, the, the special effects with the, the killing. You get some real guns. You don't get screwed like you're really in The Walking Dead with nothing, you know, until like maybe later on in the series. Is, but yeah, you get some real ARs and stuff, which I haven't really gone past season eight. I, I'm going to binge a crap ton of it, but uh, I haven't yet. Um, yeah, if we get that, if we get, if this is a full fledged game. And we get the um, that axe, dude. That axe is just like Pogarino. you know. You get, yeah, and then you know you get um, if it's like a full fledged game where we get like a lot of the crazy um, what the hell is it called? The crazy stories, the crazy people, you know, the uh, the stories that like we got dread for the ones were like oh my god you know i can't believe that that happened to these guys right like glenn style stuff if we get to see stuff like that then this game's gonna be huge i think vr done right could be good right like resident evil 7 vr everybody loved and, and i even i've never played it i've watched playthroughs and i'm like yeah the, the big ups to that that looks great um you know but uh there's other stuff like I, I don't give a shit about Beat Saber. Like I know that's cool for a lot of people. I just don't care. Um, and there may be other things that you could do VR in too cool. Um, I'm trying to remember, but I can't. There's other things, right? So you can you can always go do stuff like that. Uh, but this, if this is like a full game with the playability that we just saw in this trailer, with the music and the storylines, at least like. The great writing that, you know, even if they just reused the stuff that happened in the show, but with new people, that would still be good. They just took current writing, the prison arc, you know, the Negan arc, uh, the cannibals arc. Um, maybe not the, the women tribe arc, that was like, yeah. But, uh, and, and the, the farm and the Shane, stuff like that. If you just rehash that with other people, um, whether it was... Maybe not so much Rick having his own Shane encounter, but somebody having their own Shane encounter, but not Shane, obviously. Um, but not necessarily that, but taking like the Negan stuff, but putting on make like making a whole new group with a similar style esque thing, where some you know you know what I mean. And uh, yeah, I think that if they could just take those kind of like crazy stories, those crazy moments, and put it in a game, uh, so stories, music. And looks, I think this might be like really big. And I mean, we're, we're already talking about pre ordering it and gold weapons. This is, I, I told you, like that gun, the AR looked like Call of Duty. I'm telling you, they're going down the path. If they have, uh, if they have, uh, uh, buyables, right, like loot crate style things, that's going to be insane. But hey, the more I think about it, the more this is actually pretty cool. 
and I'm not going to waste the money for any VR because I don't want to spend that money. Um, but I, if I if I could, I definitely I think I get this. This would be no joke. There's a lot of great stuff that's come out on VR, but I, I have no desire. I like watching scary stuff. I don't necessarily like playing scary stuff all the time. So I would have never bought VR for, for Resident Evil 7. I wouldn't have cared. Um, or any other game that I've seen. And I've seen plenty of them, you know. Uh, but this, I would actually, I think, pre-order this right now if I was so inclined to spend the money on the VR. I'd order it. I'd probably get the Steam VR. Um, I don't think I would want to waste money on an Oculus or a PlayStation VR, especially when the new PlayStation is coming out. i just go, I think, with Steam, since it's the thing I use the most. don't really care what... It feels like what the quality is, whatever, it's, it's not needed. Um, plus, you got the workshop. You can have everything modded, right? Beat Saber can be modded with a billion different songs now because you're on the Steam website or the Steam launcher with the workshop. So, yeah, I, I think I do it that way with this. That would be my loadout, my build, um, and I'd be pretty damn excited, man. This, I would actually buy this, I think, for that if it was affordable. But it's not. So I'm not going to spend that money. So thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. If you like the video, like the content, you can always like, subscribe, or share. Remember, it's completely up to you. I do appreciate it, though. It does help me out in some way or another. And if you like the video, like the content, and you uh, want to discuss anything we talked about on this channel, on this video specifically, you can always leave a comment down below. Love to see, love to hear all the comments. Once again, my name is Azrael. I'll see whatever video I'm doing next. Later, guys.